Hi there. Um, my studio is kind of a wreck. Um, I'm in the middle of a show right now and so stuff is all over the place. But I was going to show the carpet bag that I made. Um, let's see. For Mary Poppins. Okay, if I were Mary Poppins, I would do this a whole lot more gracefully. But, oh, look. Wow. And I've also got, mm, let's see, down in here, mm, here. Okay, I also had the pet rack, but I sold it. And then the uh, practically perfect poppins tape was in there too. So um, I did a lot of research. I did a lot of research on carpet bags and looked at a lot of designs until I came up with this one. Um, basically, it's got a um, an aluminum bottom frame. I don't know if you can see. I can kind of push the base in. Uh, yeah, the fr the frame measures about nine inches by looks like about fifteen. Uh, 17, 18, by about 19 inches. Um, it's uh, angle aluminum, and uh, if you take a piece of it and just cut uh, the bottom part of the L shape, then you can bend the corner, and it's pop riveted. Uh, actually, there's a pop rivet in each corner uh, to hold it together and to make it rigid because rectangles aren't very rigid. The bottom of it is a piece of Luon, um, because it's lightweight, strong, and uh, only a quarter inch thick, uh, and just painted black in there. I actually had it so I could pull this out because I thought I might have to set it on a table with a hollow bottom, but it turned out I could do the whole thing uh, without that. The upper part up here are, uh, again, aluminum, which is really easy to work with. There's uh, one piece that's uh, shaped like the letter C, and another piece matching it, and uh, there's a hole drilled uh, here and here with a bolt through with Loctite on it so that the nut doesn't come off, and that just creates the opening for it. Uh, handles I got on eBay. They came from, I think, China, something like that. They were great. Um, oh no, I think I got them on Etsy, actually. I, I'm pretty sure, yeah, that I got them on Etsy instead of eBay. So they're really nice. Leather and they came with holes already punched in them and all I had to do was take a very heavy um, linen thread and uh, sewed it through. And so that's how that works. The strap is, this is an old belt uh, and uh, I was fortunate enough to get a 3D printer donated and I 3D printed the little, uh, whatever this is on the end, a thing that looks like a uh, uh, that a key would go into but doesn't. And then the back piece back here is another 3D printed piece. And, but this little star thing actually came from the hardware store uh, where they have uh, the little trays with all kinds of buttons and things like that in it. So that's where all that stuff came from. The inside is lined with black duvetine because it kind of absorbs light, which is nice. Um, this part from here up is just fabric. Um, and so that it's flexible when this thing wants to close and open. Um, but the lower part of it, uh, on the edges from there to there, and this whole piece here uh, is, is fabric uh, spray glued with uh, Landau foam underneath it. Um, I don't think I have, let me see if I've got a piece of Landau foam. All right, okay, here's a piece of Landau foam. Uh, this one's been all hacked bits, um, but you can see it's, it's very flexible. It's closed cell, so it doesn't absorb water or anything like that. Um, it repels paint like crazy. The only way I've found to get paint to stick to it is to spray it with uh, Plasti Dip to give it two or three good coats of Plasti Dip and then put paint on it, spray paint or whatever, and then it'll hold. Otherwise, it just resists it. Uh, but things do stick to it. Uh, 
the spray glue, the Super 77 spray glue, uh, stuck to this just great, the fabric onto it. Um, this is really flexible. It's pretty strong, uh, very lightweight. You can get it from, I think it's called A1 Foam Company, something like that. That's where I get it from in rolls. And uh, it comes in a roll, it's not very expensive. Uh, you can use it for all kinds of things to reinforce or puppetry or all sorts of stuff like that. Uh, it's really flexible, easy to cut, uh, pretty easy to shape. Uh, hot glue attaches to it pretty nicely. Um, I've done all kinds of uh, uh, head things and puppet stuff and all kinds of things. Um, so basically it was four piece, um, whoop, I lied. It was, um, is this in separate pieces? Yeah, okay, it, it was. It was four pieces of foam, the big piece here, a little piece on the side, big piece on the back, a little piece there. Um, I just laid out basically kind of a big rectangle of this fabric, spray glued it, spray glued the foam, and then stuck it down. Uh, the bottom part, I did sew a hem on the fabric here, uh, but this really is just hot glued onto that. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but there's the uh, aluminum frame right there. It's really just hot glued all the way around it uh, to get it on there. The, the seam on the bottom was just to prevent strings getting caught and, and stuff like that. On the top, I also sewed it to make the pocket that these uh, two metal pieces go through. And after I sewed it, I just fed them through, you know, the pocket on each side and uh, put the bolts in and put a Loctite on it. Um, and like I said, the inside is black with the duvetine because I thought if Mary Poppins, if, if she turned the bag a little bit, then nothing would be visible. For the uh, flower vase, I also made uh, like a pocket thing on the side. So there's a piece of duvetine here with Velcro so that I could fold that up stick it in there and then put this piece of fabric over it and attach it to uh, the Velcro uh, and that held the, um, the vase flat against the side so it didn't get caught in with the mirror or the uh, 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 hat rack or any of that other stuff like that. Um, so that's really how it worked. It, it really didn't take all that long. Uh, mainly was figuring out dimensions. Height-wise, it looks like that's 15 inches there. You know, probably about 17 inches bottom to top. You want to make sure that this, the top opens really big because you're going to be pulling stuff out of here. So it looks like that measures about, well, it looks like about a five inches this way. And then about... Oh, 16 inches to the next bend and then five inches back down and the same here so these pieces mirror each other uh, one of them uh, the when I drill the holes I had one of them a little bit lower than the other so that they would actually go together if they were exactly the same they would hit but if one of them is a little bit lower it'll go underneath the other one so that they'll go like that instead of bumping into each other and I thought that would hold it together better because I knew there would be a lot of pressure on it with all the stuff in it and things would be wanting to come out of it. Um, but they didn't. Uh, this guy right here, um, I put, he's, it's, it's also out of Luon with 3D printed uh, Victorian pieces on there, uh, spray painted gold, uh, rubbed, black washed and, and rubbed and stuff like that. Uh, basically, it's, it's just a... Uh, four pieces put together. Um, the, the hinge holding it together is hot glue on gaff tape. So I did a double layer of gaff tape on the corners, hot glued that down. It's, it's, it needed repair every once in a while. It just got a lot of abuse being jammed down in there. The flowers are, are um, uh, uh, zip tied uh, to the sides. So there's nothing in the middle of it. It's hollow, really. The flowers are all, are all attached on the side, on the side panels, and so that when you open, when you close it, uh, they all fold flat together, and then flowers mush, smash down pretty well. 
for the bottom of it, I just I do have a real hinge, a steel hinge in there, and I've got a piece of um, heavy sewing elastic thread, the real thick stuff, and it um, basically it, it, uh, it this is a little piece of luon here, this square. It's attached there. It goes through an eye, like a hook and eye eye, a small eye, and then the elastic goes up the side of this and is tied off up in here. Uh, that way there's a nice long piece